Tamika Scott is airing it all out, okay? All of it out with receipts, documentation, and everything. This is a tale that includes alleged lies, alleged extortion, alleged blackmail, and more, okay? So before we even get into it, let me just put the alleged badge down here at the bottom, and let's go into the video, okay? Now, one of the things that we need to talk about is this post that Tamika made earlier, probably about an hour ago, okay? Now, let's read it. Do our due diligence and read it aloud, okay? So she says, YouTube, the real Tamika Scott, God knows I didn't want to do this. Sis, you're sitting on all your interviews saying I'm looking for a storyline and attention, knowing y'all stole my money and for your husband to call Sprint, acting like he was my ex-husband with my social security, getting the passcode to my phone and changing it in 2006 getting access to my text messages, pictures, and videos, and trying to extort me. Again, allegedly, okay? Oh, yeah, all of this is documented. Y'all are evil. The other day, you said on Fox Soul, Cocktails with Queens, you were going to give me my $30,000 you stole, so you need to keep your word. Run me my check. I'm tired, okay? Now, I told y'all, I told y'all, <laughs> listen, I told y'all, in that video, I said, now that Latasha has said, she will give her that, okay? You, I, I said it, I said it, Tamika, go running down the street and get your coin, okay? So now let's get into the actual factual or alleged, okay, we should say, tea that Tamika has spilt in her YouTube video. So consider this my review and commentary of what she had to say. So let's get into the thing. Okay, so first things first. Okay, first things first, baby. We got to get into <laughs> receipt number one. We're going to put it up here on the screen for you, baby. We're going to put it up on the screen for you. So, you know, Latasha starts off the video talking about how, well, excuse me, Tamika starts off the video talking about how Latasha came to her crying about a book that Jermaine had wrote way back in the day because she uses this as a point to make that she was trying to protect her sister when she went on the radio and said those things about Candy back in the day. Y'all y'all remember the, 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 the things that she said about Candy, for which she has apologized for. Candy has forgiven her, and they have moved forward. But she says that now Latasha, in her own video, is trying to use that against her, okay? So La Tamika's like, I was trying to protect you. I was trying to get the love and attention from my family that I have been missing by protecting you and doing what I thought I could to get that love from my mama that she felt the mama that she felt like she wasn't getting all this time. Okay. So now she gets into some of the details or, or the allegations, let's say. She says that Rocky is lying about them and allegedly sent. Well, you know, Rocky did the, the thing with Tasha K, right? So let's 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 start there. She, if, you, if you didn't watch the Tasha K video, I will try to put it in the description for this video. It is literally a 40-minute call that he did with her. She's asking direct questions. He's circling the, the, the block with those answers. We did a little review on it the other day, but I'm going to refresh your memory by placing that link to the Tasha K video down in the description down below so you guys can go and listen to it if you haven't already done so. But now... Tamika is saying that he's lying in that video and basically says she is alleging that he sent her this text message that's on the screen right here. So I have blocked out the number that this is allegedly from because she says it's from an anonymous number, but I just went ahead and did my due diligence and blocked it out. Fair warning, there will be a couple of things that are blocked out in this video because she does not block out some things in her video that I feel like I would want to block out personally. All right. So um, basically, she is alleging that they sent a threatening text from an anonymous number and that, to, that, that Latasha in her own video is reiterating some of those same things in that this text message right here. 
So let's read the text message and you guys can be the judge. Okay. Let's go down the line. It says, Tamika, I have a question for you. Which allegation is worse to the media? You. Accusing your sister, oh, I guess worse to the media for you. Accusing your sister of stealing 30000 or you texting and sending naked pictures to your sister's husband. We just got our hands on pictures and messages, so we're going to do you a favor and let you apologize to your sister and your mom like you did Candy, who set you up on the first place. So there's an implication that Candy set her up in some kind of way. Also, we have a video of you having relations with somebody from 2016, and you can thank the person that's suing you for that. If you don't, we'll send all the info to the media and your Kevin Costner husband because you know her husband is the bodyguard, okay? So then they say, if you think it's a joke, don't apologize. You'll be defending yourself to your children, your husband, the world but you're not going to have to face shame by yourself. There's also a video of Todd doing some nasty things, um, some intimate things, okay? Um, you know, doing the nasty with somebody that he ain't supposed to be doing it with, okay? Let's just put it like that, all right? All right. Um, so there's there's the message, okay? It's on the screen for you guys to see. Um, <laughs> so she calls him a liar and the devil and evil. And she says that she's been protecting them for years. Now she's having her loyalty thrown in her face. She says they are extorting her. These are, this is, these are her alleged allegations, um, and saying that she was lying. Now, apparently let's move on because she says, that Miss Diane, who she does include in the video, I didn't realize who Miss Diane was, so y'all forgive me for that. In my previous videos, when I mentioned Miss Diane, hey Miss Diane, so Miss Diane makes a cameo in this video because she does a video do what where they are explaining the sound exchange information. So we're gonna get into that, and I told y'all about sound exchange a little while ago because that's where you you know get your get your monies for your for your for, for your music, okay, for all you uh, aspiring musicians. So now Miss Diane sa says that she signed them all up. Now these are Miss Diane's words herself, okay? And she signed them all up, Latasha included. So every time Latasha runs around talking about she don't know what they're talking about, Miss Diane has signed up Latasha too. Out these words are straight out of Miss Diane's mouth. Miss Diane, who says she also still loves Latasha, okay? She looks at them all as her babies, but she did sign them all up, okay? Um, so when Tamika didn't get her money like Tiny did, okay, they called up Sound Exchange, all right? And they talked to somebody, and they told Tamika that the checks were going to uh, Hampton or Fayetteville, Georgia, or somewhere like that. So then... The man that they talked to sent her copies of the checks, and he says something about her sister and a Edward Bivens, aka that is supposed to be Rocky Bivens. All right, cashed the checks, and she was told that the only way to get her money back was to prosecute him and doing an, and doing an, and you know, uh, uh, basically, if they prosecute him, that would have meant that somebody might be going to jail. Okay. Allegedly. Now, when they did their own independent investigation, someone had went in and she says, and that was, your, they said that that was your sister who put her name on it saying that she was Tamika's manager. So the allegation is that Latasha went in and put her name on things as though she was Tamika's manager. Now, you guys may remember that Tamika on the show told us that her mama told her at the time when it was told, when, when, when all of this sort of went down, that the mama said, you don't know what she was going through. Okay. So what was, was, I mean, that would be the only explanation I could think that any of this will be happening. Like you was, you must've been down in the valley. Okay. For, for for all of this to allegedly occur. But let's get back to it because it's more. Okay, it, it is much, much more. 
So they sent her, um, apparently, the people, because uh, Tamika had made reference to this before about sending in a passport. Somebody has sent in her passport. And you know, sometimes the management will have the artist's passports and documentation to make it easier for, you know, uh, traveling and such and such and so forth. Okay. So, um, she thanks Miss Diane because they're still getting checks up to this day. Now, Tamika says that when Latasha was asked about sound exchange, she acted like she didn't know what was being said. But again, in this video, Miss Diane says herself that she signed all of them up for sound exchange to make sure that they was getting their money. So then Tamika shows documentation. Now, a lot of this documentation, I, I, I have done my, I have blocked out the information that was on there that includes personal information for this, you know, just to preserve and do the right things. Okay. Now these apparently include her sister's address. You guys can go to the original video if it's still up and you guys can see where it was not Tamika's address, but her sister's address and her sister's email. Okay. And these also, this paperwork also indicates that it was not her signature that was on the documentation for the sound exchange, okay? So apparently, this corroborates the story that she previously told about them going back in, because I'm assuming that Miss Diane can sign them up, but I'm assuming that somebody else would have to fill out the paperwork, can, you know, put them, connect them with sound exchange, but that somebody else would have to do the paperwork so that they can each individually get their money. Does that make sense? So it's like she can say, okay, here's what you need to do. You need to go and con get get connected with Sound Exchange, but you got to enter your information similar to like how you would do if you started a new job so that you can be the person that is being corresponded with and you can receive the checks to your house. Okay. Does that, if that does, let me know if that makes sense. All right. So then she include. I have been asking for this. I said, if this man has signed the checks, I need to see the signature on the paperwork in order for me to really, I mean, for us to really think, okay, that this man signed the check. So she even shows you where the checks have been signed, okay, by somebody named what that, that appears to be Edward Bivens. Again, I say appears to be because, again, these are allegations that Tamika is letting us in on. But based on the look and in, in, in the detail of this, this will indicate an Edward Bivens which is allegedly Rocky Bivens and not her signature on this check, okay? It gets crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's continue on. Apparently, also, too, it was not just one $30,000 check, baby. It was multiple checks. We didn't know that. If we did not know, because you know, we ain't just getting the one check. It was more, it was more checks than that. Okay. What? Now, see, that means you've been paying to you got you got to pay taxes on more than just the 30,000. Now, I need to know how much would somebody run me the accounting, please. Run me the accounting, please run it to me. Anyway, so Tamika basically just wants them to leave her alone. Leave me alone, she says. Stop sending her threats. And apparently, let's go back to the to the intimate tapes, okay? To the to, to the intimate tapes. She had asked her sister to keep the tape so that she could go back and you know maybe watch it again one more time, you know, because maybe she was feeling like she was feeling herself in the in the in the intimate tape or whatever. Um, I hope it won't know Mimi tape was she dangling by a uh, um by a clothes rod. Number one, I didn't see that tape, um, but I did hear about it. Y'all made reference to it so much that my imagination is probably much worse than what it actually was. <laughs> but I digress. Anyway, so she had asked her sister to keep the tape so she can go back and watch it again, thinking she could trust her sister. All right. These, this is what she alleged. So then apparently when she went to go back and get the tape, she alleges that Latasha said that the tapes were stolen out of her safe. Now, Tamika said, well, who got the code? And so Latasha said, it's only her and Rocky. So now Tamika says they are allegedly about to blackmail her and put the tape out 
based on the text that, that I showed y'all earlier, what in the dynasty, what in the Falcon Crest, what in the Melrose play, what in the Knots Landing is going on here, okay? And for those of you in the new generation, okay, what in the pretty little liars, all right, what in the world is going, what in the empire, what in the, I mean, power is going on up in this jamboree? This is something that you cannot make up. I, can you believe all this is going on in a in a musical group? I mean, they're supposed to be singing, who can I run to? It's, it really, it should be, who can I run from? Okay, who should I be running from in this group? I don't know, but it might be a good idea to escape from escape at this point. All right, just like Candy said, somebody, I mean, it, it might, it, it's escape and escape need to be the name of the documentary. Escape and escape, okay? <laughs> because this sounds low down and dirty, but we are not done. All right, let's continue on. All right, so um, Tamika says, and now you're doing a gospel album? Please tell me you're not doing a gospel album and with all these allegations. Oh, no, baby. No, baby. Motown. Motown. Y'all still doing this? Now, listen, I ain't trying to stop nobody's bag or nothing like that. But, girl, you might want to do an R&B R &B album on this, um, uh, Latasha. I mean, listen, because you can still sing. Okay? You can still sing. Or, and, and you... And Eric, what they're singing about nowadays in R and B? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, come on now, R and B ain't the same as when I was growing up and listening to it. The R and B now, they be talking about some things that I'm like, I, I thought that was okay, fine. That's what we doing. That what we doing now? Fine. Let's oh, let's go. All right. So anyway, I sound old as AF. I know I do. I know I do. I don't care either. So let's move on. So Tamika says, all right, so you, they were supposed to be doing the gospel album together. Let's get into the gospel of it all, right? Oh, yeah, there's another screenshot. <laughs> so apparently her mom and her grandmother wanted them to do a gospel album, so they went with management at the time, and she said that Motown offered her and Latasha a gospel album together. Now, apparently, it became a conflict when Tamika told her that they should split everything down the middle. Latasha allegedly told her, no, this is what I do. I do music. You can do screenplays. You can do movies. But I am the singer in the family. Tamika says she blew up and never mentioned it again. Then she posts a screenshot of some emails about the deal but when you zoom in and this is apparently something that latasha had posted in her speak on it okay and so she says when you zoom in it included rocky's name in the letter but rocky was not in on that deal according to tamika allegedly it was their old manager who helped them secure the deal so now she's like how did rocky okay uh, how is he allegedly supposed to be taking credit for this deal when it was their old manager? Just because the, he's included in this new email, that, that according to Tamiko, was not the case. So now Tamika is accusing them of also stealing her gospel deal. <laughs> this is, you cannot make this up, okay? If I thought, listen, I, this is not a, this is a shameless plug for my book. But if you think that what's I mean what's going on this in this book is 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 crazy, but what's going on here might be it's it might top my book. I I I don't know. I, I need you to read it and tell me. Okay, shameless plug, but I'm a businessman. So anyway, um, apparently she got a text at church that if you go to your cable channel and you look up a show, you can see the actors who are listed on particular shows and production okay because you if you pause it y'all ever notice this if you pause your tv and you are on a scene on some on some um streaming services it will show you the actors and actresses who are in the scene at the moment right let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see all right 
that was that letter. I blocked out the email. Well, if the email was already blocked out in hers, but pretty much. So I want y'all to look at this. They didn't told her that now, okay, now her face is gone from the particular productions that she was in to be replaced by her sister's face. That is Latasha's face. It say Tamika's name. <laughs> what in the mistaken identity is going on here? This is giving single black female. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? What is happening? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I cannot. All right. Now, um, she says that there's just a lot of cricket stuff that is happening in this video. She goes on to say um, that they sent in the threatening text, they mentioned a tattoo that only Latasha knew about, an intimate tape that has mysteriously disappeared, and pictures that were never sent to, to Rocky, but when he, uh, uh, he allegedly cracked her phone saying that he was her ex-husband and that's how he was able to obtain the photos of her. She feels stupid for doing so many things for them now that they are being thrown in her face, like the stuff that she said about Candy. And she feels like she was wrong in those situations. She's grown and she's apologized for them. She says, now... This is what she says to her sister. Now the world knows that you are a liar, allegedly. Okay. And allegedly, I got to say this. She didn't say alleged. Allegedly stealing from the church. Allegedly stealing from her sister. And allegedly stealing her identity. All right. But what they won't do is steal her pride. Allegedly. So she says, go ahead and leak the tapes. And embarrass your niece. Go ahead and watch what God does. She says, yes, they are sisters, like, like she like Latasha said in the show, but not by choice. Okay. She says she's grown from her mistakes and she will not let them allegedly blackmail her and use her past against her. You better say it, girl. She says Latasha needs to apologize to God and repent and keep her name out of her mouth. She does apologize to us, the viewers, the rest of the world, that they've had to even go through this. She says that she really didn't intend to bring up the $30,000 on the show, but she felt like she was being backed into a corner by her sister and her mama. And so she released the Kraken. OK, and that she did. She says that she will never speak about this situation ever again. I have a feeling she going to have to. OK, because I have a feeling this is the spark that is going to start an eternal explosion. But on the bright side, she says that Escape, Candy, Tiny and Tamika will be bringing music. OK, hopefully in the form of some new music, you might as well drop a new single or a song or something like that, since we got all this going on and all this press is going on. But baby, let me tell y'all something. That is what we got going on in this video, this recap of Tamika's video. Again, all commentary is alleged, but I am reviewing what she said. Okay, these are not my words. These are hers. And you guys can do with them what you may. Drop your comments down in the description, in the uh, comment section down below, and I will catch you in the next video. So, Desiree Davenport, what are you hoping to accomplish with this show? Honestly... I've lost everything in the most horrible way possible. And listen, I want it all back. I'm willing to build it piece by piece, and I mean brick by brick. Oh, honey, she is done. I bet you a burke and she has not last all season with us. Just watch. I'm Misha Hill, and I'd like to consider myself the matriarch of this dynamic group of ladies. I mean, someone has to keep them under control. I'm Davida Delaney. I mean, I think I could teach these ladies a thing or two about how to get and keep a good man. They said she was a gold digger. She ain't good for me. I'm just really looking forward to being surrounded by other empowering bosses. Yes, I know exactly what she's doing. And if she keep playing in my face, I'm gonna have to let out all her dirty little secrets just like she did to me. And I'm not playing. 
Let's get this straight. If I brought you into this circle, I just as easily can take you out. She ain't running nothing over here, okay? She needs to be worried about running that household and worried about why that husband of hers is never at home. Oh, hell. Ooh, child, this is about to be a mess. Oh, my God. I hate mess. What in the world did I get myself into?